So you got what you were looking for, it sounds like, in yeah. Princeton. You got yeah. the experience you wanted. Full college experience. And then afterwards, you dove right back in. Afterwards, I went back to New York. Um, I started doing more theater again. Uh, I think while I was in college, I had like uh, a TV gig or two. Um, and so by the time I was out of college it was like all right great well whatever comes now sure i'm not that was an interesting transition too because i realized like when when you're a kid and you are if you are well supported by your family and you're in school it can be your hobby that you get paid for sure and then all of a sudden graduating i was like oh it's my job like Oh, what do I do in the meantime? So, like, I'll work retail or I'll nanny or I'll babysit or I'll do whatever. Um, did you work all jobs? Yeah. Oh, what did you yeah, do? Definitely. I worked I worked at, like, a lingerie store, which Ooh. sounds way sexier than it is. It's mostly, re- it has more to do with psychology than anything, really. I was Wait, fascinated. what? Yeah, because it you're dealing like with... That was like the psych theorems. Yeah, <laughs> you get it. I was... It's if, the God Gilbert Godfrey. That's why they're all red because it's the menstrual blood. Sure, Gilbert Godfrey, or like Bettelheim, but like Bettelheim. Yeah, <laughs> Gilbert Godfrey. That's horrifying. I don't want him telling anything about my I tried to do a callback and I blew it. I'm, I okay. apologize. I'm just thinking about that duck now. Um, uh, a laundry store where? Why oh. was it not glamorous? No, it was very. It was like a glamorous, cool spot with uh, other cool women. But what you end up realizing is if you're helping a stranger. Find lingerie that fits her properly. And I mean, like, I'm measuring, you know, because we're talking about, yeah, like, actual... Busts and Sure, stuff. I'm doing bust measurements. Um, y- you're just face-to-face with so many women's insecurities on, oh. like, a really intimate level. Oh. And sometimes I would just have these conversations with women. Uh, sometimes you just get more information than you're <laughs> ready for. Because also, you're vulnerable. Like, I understand it. You're standing there in front of a stranger. You're half-naked. And they're with you helping you like you know look your best or feel your best and yeah it was just interesting there were a lot of like I I was telling friends I feel like I'm getting all of the stories out of this that I would if I were a bartender but without those hours you know what I mean where you're sort of on the front lines of like the human condition the female human condition I kept saying like god if I have a quarter for every time a woman's like god I wish I didn't have this back fat so in so many ways I, I think it was illuminating because I went like, oh, OK, well, whatever my body ends up doing, <laughs> because it'll be out of my control at a certain point. Like, I think I should just be cool with it. Sure. Because I'm I'm watching it. I mean, it just ran the gamut. Um, sure. So that was kind of interesting. this was in New York. Yeah. Like yeah. Madison Avenue. No, like oh. uh, like outside like Union hip, Square. Like... Oh. <laughs> yeah, but still very posh. Are you the type people. of actor that like is always studying how humans interact? And so it's something a job like that. Is that something where you're like, oh, interesting. I'm picking up these little idiosyncrasies. And yeah, these ticks. I think so. I, I mean, I feel like that's why I was pretty good at it was because I could connect with those people on like a, a close interpersonal level. Sure. Just to be like, I'm here. I'm with you. Sure. I'm a safe space. <laughs> and also I'm taking in everything <laughs> you're saying right now. Sure. Uh, when you're talking about like, oh, my husband's having an affair or like I'm having an oh, affair sure. or oh. like, oh, yeah. I mean, just juicy, weird New York. Taxi cab confessional s- style. Totally. Lingerie totally. store confessional. Oh, totally. What other odd jobs did you have? I did that. I did a lot of like babysitting. Oh, and nice. And nannying and stuff like that. Yeah. That's, that's a so, great one. Oh, so easy and so fun. And I love kids. And yeah, it was just a blast. 